Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel again. This is Naskumbu. I want to welcome you and thank you for finding the time uh, to listen uh, to to listen and watch my video. Um, so what I wanted to say today was that you know this information is free. It's free information that you have access to and it's entirely up to you to get it and act on it and do what you need to do if you need to change your life of course uh so today in this video i wanted to focus on um the available reputable agencies that one can use either to transition to the united states of america or the united kingdom so i'm going to give you a list of the ones that i know and rely and are, are reliable because i have uh, friends uh, that have been successful and I am here obviously so you can use those agencies and please do not be scammed because there are so many scammers out there we work so hard for the money you don't want to be scammed for anything at any particular time so be very careful as you start this entire process do not be a victim of um, scammers so um, one Agency that I'm going to start with is a Grady Payton International one because that's the agency that I used and I know that they are reputable and I know that they are reliable. So a Grady Payton has been in service for more than 35 years. So they are really on it. So what happens is you're going to put in your application. You can go to the website and put in the application online they'll get back to you and then when they get back to you they'll ask if you've uh, taken your IELTS exam I have a video on IELTS so you can look that up so they'll ask if you did your IELTS and then if you did your IELTS they are going to look and evaluate at the at, at your test scores so usually the main focus is the speaking and the listening usually they look at a band score of 6.5 to about 7 uh, so that is pretty much doable. Uh, you have no excuse. Yeah, so they're going to ask for that So if that is in place, the next thing they're going to do is do a Skype interview with you. So uh, a Skype interview you have to prepare of course just like any other interview just prepare for that So they'll, they'll give you a Skype Interview if that goes well for you. Uh, you're going to proceed and do uh, the assessment. The assessment is written It's about 50 questions as a pass or fail uh, Exam uh, that you have to do online. Uh, you have about an hour to do it. So the time I took uh, the test it was 50 questions um, Basically nurse oriented nursing stuff and it, and you've been doing this for a long time. So definitely you have to do that so once that is done uh, there's a questionnaire that you have to fill in they have to know uh the hospital that you work at uh your bed capacity at a particular hospital so they are looking at nurses that are working in acute care mostly uh psychiatry um so that's basically message uh emergency department psychiatry uh labor and delivery i don't know about that i haven't really had much of that but i think uh they are you can go ahead and just ask about eleven delivery, but mostly it's med search, uh, emergency, psych, ICU. Those I know and are very confident about. So they'll ask about the hospital you're working at, uh, the bed capacity, and uh, what you do. Basically, just skill wise to know where you are at and what you're capable of delivering and bring it to the table. So in Zambia, they look at UTH, they look at Kido Central Hospital, Ndola Central, I think Livingston General as well. All the big hospitals that are available. I think the tertiary hospitals that are available uh, back home, those are the hospitals they look at. So if you are working in that particular area and you qualify, they'll proceed uh to um do they'll evaluate that and they'll probably let you know if you qualify or not so once that is done uh you're going to move on to the next which is a pre nclex uh rather preparation period for nclex uh there's a 200 dollar that you have to pay i don't know if it's still 200 dollars, but that's how much i paid at the time so when everything else has been done you've they've accepted you in the program they're going to enroll you in their program they use kaplan so with kaplan they'll send you some textbooks via mail uh, those are hard copy textbooks so you have to give them uh, an address that is reliable and dependable so they'll send those to you and then they'll also enroll you on an online Kaplan uh, program so 
that program is on so once you're doing all that you have to send in your transcripts your transcripts are sent to uh cgfns cgfns will evaluate and after evaluation and everything goes well for you there'll be a ces report uh that is um that they will release and that ces report is sent to the nursing board that you you'll be using for your English preparation. So uh, the entire process takes a bit of time, about six to about eight months for you to just get that pre-authorization to test. So when everything else is done and all, there's what they call the ATT. The ATT is authorization to test. That is, um, they've allowed you to go ahead and take the exam. Your papers and credentials uh, are good to go, meaning that you can come and work here as a registered nurse. So everything else is good. So that authorization to test is good for about 90 days, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so it does expire. So within that particular period of time, you have to take your NCLEX. So for Zambia, I know the nearest testing center at that particular time when I did mine was India. But you can do it in India, you can do it in the United Kingdom, you can also do it in the USA. So, but the nearest and cheapest place was India at the time. I know that South Africa just opened a testing center as well. I think it's closer and probably cheaper as well. So, between India and South Africa, you can choose which one works for you. So, with a Grady Payton International, if everything works good and uh, good and you're good to go, they will pay for your return ticket to the nearest testing center that is either South Africa or India. They will pay for your ticket. So, what you have to do, you will have to uh, come in and pay for your logistics you will pay for food and transportation within uh, the place where you'll be taking your test from so um, that is I think it's it's pretty much fair because the ticket is what is more expensive uh, logistics are not all that expensive so it's just you also doing your part you know when you put in the money you actually feel it and you probably work harder towards passing the exam so um, so once that is done uh, the entire what, once that is done there is you once you pass your NCLEX exam, you're going to move next to the immigration process. The immigration process also takes a bit of time, about six to eight months. I think that's what really uh, draws a lot of people back. So immigration, if everything is approved and good, you should be good to travel within six to eight months. Yeah, I think the most stressful part of, of all is just getting the approval the immigration approval and also passing your NCLEX. But once that stage is done, you can actually uh, just patiently wait and let them do their part. So uh, the next agency I wanted to talk about is Avant Healthcare Professionals. Avant Healthcare Professionals has a six weeks orientation program. It's in-house, so you will be uh, in class. Uh, they'll show you how stuff is done here and what is expected of you. And in the six weeks, uh, family is really not allowed because there's only room enough for you so if you have probably a family member in the united states or a friend that can accommodate your dependents while you are doing that well and good it's good you can go ahead and do that you can come in with a family be and then your family can be looked after at your friends or family members place and then after your six weeks orientation when you are uh, dispersed to your uh state wherever you'll be working from you can go ahead and pick them up or alternatively they can remain behind you do your six weeks orientation and then after that as you proceed to your destination they can also come along and then join you so uh i know united states here it's more flexible to come in with family provided you have money because they will pay for the employee but you have to come in as an employee and pay for your dependents so uh that is uh advanced healthcare professionals and then there is also uh, interstaff. For interstaff, I know that they get uh, nurses with bachelor's degree. So if you have a bachelor's degree, well and good. Uh, usually they don't take in nurses with diplomas. So uh, if you have a diploma, you can use um, you can use O'Grady, you can use Avant. So and then the the fourth agency that I know that you can use and reputable is uh, Adevia. Adevia is a bit expensive because one, you have to do literally everything yourself. Yeah, you do the English preparation. They can help here and there with paperwork, but you have to fit, I mean, you have to pay for most of the stuff yourself until after you pass your NCLEX. So if you can afford, if you have the savings and all, well and good, you can use them. And they're pretty quick as well while doing uh, stuff. So 
those are some of the agencies the reputable ones that i know that one can use if you wanted to, if you want to come to the united states of america and then the two that are reliable that you can use for united kingdom i know of mma healthcare recruitment mma i know of melinda melinda is a uh she's she's very involved uh pretty much reliable as well uh she's on facebook she has a facebook page and then they also uh have a facebook page as well so send her a message all they need is for you to have sevens in all the seven 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 in all the four uh tests and then you should be good to go and then the other one for uk is our uk job connections i know they're also reputable because i have friends that have used them and have been successful so for united kingdom mma and uk job connections those are the two that i know of uk the process is pretty quick within i think within eight to 12 months you should be good to go provided you pass i think the only challenge is the 7777 7, 7 that they need the seven in in everything so if you if you have that uh, it shouldn't be a problem just hit them up and they'll be able to help you with the entire process so uh those are the uh, recruiting agencies that i know of and i know that they're reliable as well and i know that they're dependable so just like i said earlier information is free it's entirely up to you to act on it so and this really is a video for those that have interest in doing this so if you don't have any interest really you are not it's you are not forced to do anything just stay back so this is entirely for those that have interest in doing this so um if you have any questions uh if i have the answers i'll answer and give you the answers but if i don't i'll say i don't know yeah i will not lie i'll just tell you the truth so um each agency of course has rules and regulations that one has to follow uh they have contracts most of them have contracts that you have to fulfill so i know or grady payton uh the time i was signing in my contract hours were 4160 i have a few more hours to go and i should be done with the contract and once that is done you can choose wherever you want to go and work you are free you are free you're free you can do whatever it is that you need if you decide to remain at the facility where they while you're currently working well and good if you want to go somewhere else and work well and it, it it still works but after the after you fulfill your contract hours you're free to go anywhere you want to go i think the only good thing about this entire thing is that one you are a permanent resident and you can work anywhere not only that if you have a partner too they can also work anywhere so you are not really restricted and you are legal you won't be running around because you don't have the required papers so i think that is one of the things because they're going to assist you do the right thing the right way so um just like i said earlier if you have any questions you can uh hit me up and uh ask and i will answer if I have the answers so um these agencies have pages on facebook we all have facebook accounts so uh you can look them up for further information so each agency is different so they are going to have different benefits different contract hours and all the good stuff so what you do is look them up read and choose what works for you okay it's really about you and what will work for you and your family if you have one so uh depending on what you want depending on what you need you can look that up and just read more so we live in a time where really we have technology information is accessible we can't lie wi-fi is accessible so we are free to look up information you know i had information availed to me for free i had friends that were willing to help me start this entire process and they helped me i had questions they answered my questions so that's the reason why i am willing to help too because somebody helped me somebody paved the way so i'm also paving a way for the next person um you know we come here and we need a support system we come here we form families so um you are free to ask any questions and i'll be willing to answer the ones that i need to answer and if i have the answers 
I will give them to you. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'm kindly asking that you just hit the subscribe button and like the video if you do. That would be great. Thank you so much for your time. Until next time, bye-bye.